And then I have stones over there. Hey guys, in this video, we're back here at the adult playground, the place that we thought was formerly a concrete plant. It turned out to be an abandoned sand quarry. Sand was used to make the concrete. Well, there's a few items here that I do want to check out as they revisit an update. Keep it down up there. But uh, there's an abandoned house, an abandoned tanker truck, and an abandoned view Cyrus crane. Those are the three objects, locations we're going to focus on today because the rest of the property here looks pretty much the same. I want to see if these items actually have been severely decayed or vandalized more so than when we were here last time. Also, as a special treat, I did bring what is called a potato gun. I talked about it before on my channel, never showed it before, but today is a perfect opportunity for it. We're going to get some cool slow motion footage. Myself is here, Alan from Revenge of the Apocalypse and RJ78 Productions. We're all going to have a turn shooting that and having some fun with this. So if you want to join us, come along with me. Okay, so many people often ask when I mention the potato gun, what is a potato gun? This is it right here. And all it consists of is mainly PVC piping. We've got a narrow diameter barrel here. It goes into a larger chamber. It's sealed up. It's a removable cap here. Which I'll get removed. <laughs> and we got a grill igniter. This produces spark. And what you do is you get the potato, Put it in there, use the stick here, and you push the potato down to this white marker, which stops it right near the chamber. After that, it's easiest for two people. You get someone to get hairspray. I prefer Aquanet. Gives you the most bang for your buck. You shoot a squirt in there, put the cap on really quick, press the trigger, and mash potatoes. <laughs> Not literally, it actually shoots out a whole potato at a high velocity. I would not want to stand in front of this, but it is pretty powerful. You got to hold it almost like a rocket launcher. It gives you a little kick. And we're going to fa uh, face shooting this building here, the center block wall. It's not going to do any damage. There are potatoes. And this is an abandoned place that hasn't been used in decades, but we want to do something that's not going to be destructive, but is a good target and should make for some pretty cool slow motion action. We're going to do a couple different perspectives. So if you guys watching from there, using my action camera and then putting the camera over there. It's going to be a pretty cool little montage of potato firing here. I'm going to shoot it, Alan, RJ, and the rest is going to be history. So I hope you guys enjoy the footage. After that, we will start exploring the crane, truck, and abandoned house. So it's going to be a pretty exciting video. So we're here, we're going to load the potato up now. There we go. I'm gonna have Alan be my assistant. We're gonna spray the chamber with the Aquanet. I'm gonna throw the cap on quick and hit the igniter. You, gotta shake this up at all? you don't really have to. Get a good spray. Okay. Here it goes. Fire. <laughs> no, sometimes it has to get a good punch. Oh, this one's gonna shoot harder. Oh, come on. Okay. Keep spraying, keep spraying, keep spraying. Good. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> Who wants to go next? You? But we're going to modify this when I get home. I'm going to drill a hole through here and put a probably like a two inch bolt through it. That way, we have something to grab onto to loosen it and tighten it. So, who's up? I'll go. 
Okay, now as soon as I spray, put the cap on as quick as you can and then press. Okay, ready? Okay. <laughs> That's got some kick. It does. <laughs> All right, now I think it's time we're going to do some, well, actually, we'll get a shot of Alan shooting it. Then we're going to do some slow motion action of it coming out of the barrel and also exploding against the wall. So Alan's take a turn. Alan's take a turn. Alan will take a turn. Then we're going to switch to a uh, little slow motion montage. Okay. Fire at will. He put some extras in the front, that's why I, I gave you a little flaked idea. out. Okay. Oh. So as you can hear, it's getting louder and louder because we're really packing them in there good. We're giving an extra shot of Aquanet. Not sponsored, <laughs> but if you want to, you're welcome to. But you can hear it's getting louder, getting even more kick to it. Now we're going to show you what it's doing when it hits the wall. It's literally turning into mashed potatoes and french fries. All we need is a deep fryer, we can have a good lunch here. <laughs> so let's change camera angles, get things set up, and we'll see you with some music in a moment. All right, for this next one now, we're gonna go for distance. I have the camera pointed up in the air and we're gonna see just how far this will go. Okay, so you're shooting that way. Yeah, I'm gonna shoot up in the air there. Oh, right past the tree. <laughs> that wasn't a super solid hit. Let me try one more. I think we can go further. And she's gone. That went at least 100 yards, if not further. Clear the tree line and somewhere in the back. <laughs> and now I'm covered in potatoes. Okay, so for this next one, the camera's pointed up at the top level. Alan is up there. He's got a camera up there. You're going to see the potato flying through. And I'm also holding the Osmo action right here. So you'll be able to see RJ firing out as well. So let's do this. <laughs> that is not where I was aiming. Whoops. <laughs> that is how not to fire a gun. <laughs> Let's try take two. Fire hole. Ha, ha, ha. 
<laughs> that was so close. <laughs> he said he got hit with potatoes. <laughs> well, I think I need one more try. He got two tries. I need one more try. <laughs> Alan's got a potato up there. <laughs> He's loading up for me. It's going to be my turn now. He's going to take the camera here. Fire in a hole. <laughs> Did I hit your tripod? I don't think so. Oh, it looked like it did. I just missed it, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so as you can't tell, we are having a fantastic time here. We can't stop laughing. I need to adjust the camera a little crooked here. But uh, Alan's up there. He had his GoPro up there. So if you want to see that footage, make sure you watch his channel. RJ was covering it. I covered it. We have more potatoes, we may fire off one or two more, but we are gonna get moving though because we have items to see, such as the abandoned crane, tanker truck, and abandoned home. So if you guys did come for that, those are coming up next, but hopefully enjoy this little footage of the potato gun. If you do wanna see more videos, including this, maybe taking it to shoot uh, in different areas, locations, or maybe even shooting at objects, maybe like a, a gallon of water or something like that, maybe like make it explode for a RJ Suburban. But uh, if you guys thought that was fun though and want to see more, definitely leave your comments down below. Okay, and just like that, we got everything wrapped up here. As you can see, I did take off the coat, get a little warm out. Got my uh, found a toy, it's abandoned shirt on. Beautiful day today, sunny blue skies, around 50 degrees, very light breeze. And that building back there smells like potatoes. So we uh, did a number on it. No damage is done. Just some potato scraps that animals will probably devour tonight. But now we're gonna start moving. We have three locations to check. We're not gonna spend a whole lot of time on them because we do have limited time here as we have other things planned for today. So the next item we're gonna see and head to is the abandoned Bu Cyrus Crane. I used to mistakenly call it Bucky Russ. Many of you did correct me on that, Bu Cyrus. Uh, it's a pretty cool item, kind of half buried in the ground here. And we'll head over there next, so I'll see you there. And just as I spoke, there's a breeze. So that is part of the processing plant, turning the material into sand. It's a pretty complex area here. And if you guys want to see my first visit, you could definitely find that link down below in the description and it'll also pop up on the right hand side of the screen right there but you can see definitely was the sand quarry tons of sand and now it's like public riding not public but riding land for atvs this crane is very similar to the one located at mcdade park in scranton for the lackawanna coal mine tour they also have a Bu Cyrus, I think it's a, not sure if it's a drag crane, drag bucket, but it's a load from the front. So basically it scoops upwards, like against the hill here, it's scoop like that, and then drop the throat off through the bottom through a hatch. I'm sure there's a proper name for it. I just don't know what it is. Looks pretty awesome though. Crystal clear blue sky behind it. This property's not been used in decades. This has been sitting here, I honestly don't know how long. I would guess probably at least 30 years. It probably broke down here and they just didn't have the means to repair it or recover it. But let's get a closer look at it. And you can see on the crane arm, Bu Cyrus Erie. You guys want to see a closer look at it? 
Yes? No? Yes? Okay, let's go. I'm not waiting. Let's go. You can see the massive tracks on it. I did a comparison last time just to show you. I am a size 13 boot. This is probably 18, 19 inches in width, maybe even 20. It's pretty amazing how this side is. Submerged. Yeah, buried underneath of it. And there's a good bit pushed up underneath right here. It's like a, almost like a sculpture now, just kind of like a landmark just sitting here. And just like the one in Dade Park, this still has a bluish color to it, the teal. How amazing is that? Big flywheels here, cables would have went around it to control the arm. There's the motor. I'll try to get you a shot in there. Very cool though. I do love the color. You don't see equipment these days with that bluish, greenish, teal color to it. There's a platform here to step on to get into the compartment, which it doesn't still work, but. RJ, do you know, was this diesel, this one? The, the one at McDade was gas member, right? Yeah, that was gas engine. So ha yeah, this is diesel because see these lines right here? These go to the injectors. Actually, somebody took the valve cover off, so this is all the injectors. These are your uh, diesel fuel, okay. water separator, and filter, and all that. Looks like somebody probably took the radiator too because the yeah. fans here yeah. seized up. Took that for the copper, probably. And there's the big exhaust pipe cool shot right here you can see the arm and there's the name again i mistakenly called that bucky russ when i first saw it but i was corrected many 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 times but that's what's good about it, is i learn from you guys they said this is diesel though it might be a detroit diesel possibly detroit diesel Radiator's gone, the fan's here. It is seized up, it won't move. Yeah, that's a Detroit. Is it? It is. So RJ did confirm it's a Detroit diesel. So it's got some significance to it. Let's get around, check out the operator's compartment. I'm surprised they're still there. Here's the track, you can see it's buried. This whole half is buried under the material. Tree coming up through the yeah through the boom. Still holding strong though. Bend up right here. Yeah, I see that. Oh. that It'd be one heck of a video if someone was able to get this thing running again and have it move out move out of here under its own power. That would, that would be incredible. I would pay money to see that. Again. You can see some of the gauges there. I mean, for the most part, it's like 90% here. Very cool. Here's the big drums with the cable. Going outwards. The bone. Oh, yeah, I forgot about those. And here it is. Here's the view as if you were going to operate here the seats missing of course but it's gonna be very noisy probably very hot very shaky but extremely cool at the same time i mean you have to really have your skill set down pat because you don't have the greatest visibility you're going to rely on either hand or audio signals from someone outside probably to tell you where to maybe 
don't know if they would use this for lifting stuff or this be used for extraction of material. That I don't know. I'm kind of thinking like a high high rise crane, but this I think maybe would have had a drag bucket on it. So that's it. That is the crane. One of three items to check out today. We're going to go find the tanker truck now and then the house. So if you thought this was cool, it's going to get even better. And if you guys remember from our first visit here, we did stumble upon what resembled a crime scene because we found some bones here. We also found, I think, a cell phone here at the time and there's some bullet casings. Most likely it's animal, but still made for a pretty surprising discovery. But there was a, was there a cell phone there last time? Yeah. That's right. All right, so we're going to go back down now, check out the truck, which I had some pretty cool pictures of last time. And I think RJ is going to like it. And then we'll do the house last. And then we'll wrap up our revisit here to the adult playground. So the way you're going in the right direction for the tanker truck is when you see the ski resort right in front of you. Once you see that, you come over here to the right and it's almost camouflaged. I got some pretty cool shots myself. I'll try to find one or two of them and throw in the video right now to show you how it looked when I was here last time. But it's really cool though. They says a fuel truck. Uh, I believe 1950s Ford. It is so awesome though. Yeah, I don't remember the houses actually being that close. Yeah, I don't either. And we were here in the wintertime too. Yeah. That's really close. Not much of a seat, but. All in all, not in bad shape. Do you remember the windshield being busted last time? It was. was it? Let me get you a closer shot here. Pretty cool though, seeing everything. The high low gear transmission switch there. Again, this would be something to see get running again. I did crawl up on top last time and was able to look inside it is empty just a little bit of water in there but it was a fuel truck though f750 it's a beast of a truck yes, i mean at least it's nice it doesn't seem like anybody's really vandalized it yeah that is a good point well i'm going to snap a few photos of it and then we're going to move on to the house Oh, let's wait a minute and see what they're going to do. There's another truck. Yeah. Tell them just taking pictures of the stuff. Yeah. So I wonder... yeah, we almost had to abandon ship. As you saw, there was two trucks that came down here and they slowed down to see what we were doing. But they didn't stop. They actually just kind of went on their way. Just wanted to make sure it wasn't anyone that was going to give us any trouble. But... They left, the house is right here. They're leaving now, yeah. This is the final thing we wanna share. So we're gonna get around to the other side, get a better area to access it. So here it is. This was actually a former residence. It was an actual home. It was later converted into company space. Uh, it was offices in there, break room. 
So it doesn't look like a home now, but the outside at least does. So they do have old pieces of plywood up there. None of this property is posted though. We've been in here before. Alan's been in here. This will be his third time. But it's kind of unique. It's nestled here in the mountainside. It's like a middle walkway ramp there, probably for a vehicle to uh, back up to, like almost like a mini loading dock. Oh, there's the Easter bunny. I threw a cliff. He thought it was a clown right there. <laughs> it's an inflatable bunny. There is a basement to this too with a garage underneath us. I didn't get into the basement last time, but we will show it today. This is soft here. Jeez. Yeah, see, I don't know what, what you think, but that looks to be more like it's recently put in. It doesn't match the order with the door here. The door. It is not locked. Anybody in here? Okay, so we're going to take a nice leisurely walk through. We're not going to show too much of everything here. It is kind of trashed. Wow. I can already see from when I was here, it's really went downhill. Yeah, this desk was overturned. It was the right way when we were here. Somebody flipped it over. This is where we found documentation showing it was a, about a concrete company, not knowing though it was actually a sand quarry supplying sand for concrete companies. See, there's one of the examples right there. We found stuff like that, assuming it was a concrete company. It's trashed. It's pretty bad shape in here. So Alan said he thinks this plywood here is new. He doesn't remember that being there before. I don't remember because last time we came here, this door was wide open. But regardless, people have been in here destroying it. We're just here to document it. Back door is wide open. And I'm sure some of this paperwork is important too. There's receipts here, there's print graphs, stuff like that, all kinds of documentation. But you could tell, I mean, probably back in the day it was a decent home. It's got nice doors in here. It has you know some nice design elements. I remember my favorite part here was the bathroom, all these arches. That's probably my favorite part. Of course, there's vulgar graffiti and people have stolen the copper, but not really much mold or anything like that. Surprised nobody took the radiator. And there's what's left of the toilet. Not much of a toilet check there. Got a dust mask. But I do love though the way this looks with the arches. It's like almost like um like almost like a Spanish feel. Spanish or Italian maybe, like architecture. I'm not really well versed in that, but that's what comes to mind. Sink is gone, of course. Had two fluorescent. Bulb fixtures there. And there is the doorbell. Yeah, the door's open because... Uh, it's on the ground? Yep. Oh. There's a decently sized little walk-in closet. Look at that paint though. That paint peel. It's almost like vines growing from like a tree. It's bizarre. I 
There is an upstairs too, which I'll show. This was more like the uh, locker room here. This is literally only standing up because of the doors being up there right now. Yeah, lockers are here. Boots on the ground, gloves. This one's sideways. No. Yeah, I don't remember it like this last time. Those are portable showers, I think. There's the basement. We will finish up there last. I'm going to try to not to show that. There's some really vulgar graffiti there on the back of the table. This is the break room. This is also where they had probably meetings. They have um, like a bulletin board, pegboard, and um, you know the equal rights law, stuff like that. Refrigerator is knocked over, and there are steps right there go upstairs. So I'll give you a quick look up there. And if you guys want to make coffee, there's still the coffee maker here too. I'll take some hot chocolate, but <laughs> it is there. There were some coffee cups at the uh, at the crane in the back of it. I'm Was there? That. Yeah. Okay. Oh, and there's the yeah, Christmas items. Oh, so they came downstairs now. Yeah, that was upstairs. So. Yeah, the whole bunch. Shh. I heard people talking. All right, I'm gonna wrap this up pretty quick here. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna take you for a really quick run upstairs. We're gonna go down to the basement and wrap things up. We uh, may not be here long. Might hear people outside. So. Yeah. There's the Christmas. There's a Easter basket. And up top, I remember too, there was lots of stockings with employees' names on them. That's where you gotta be careful so you don't encounter like a raccoon or something. Yeah, there's all the stockings Alton, Bill, Clyde. But, yeah, a little space here and then a larger room here but everything's busted the walls and then a little crawl space attic which i don't remember not much to see up there um yeah those little storage areas i figure what they call but there's a lot, plenty of storage up here. These would have been two bedrooms up here. There's a Christmas blow mold. And all the sheetrock is gone. And what's this? Ooh, scary bat. All right, let's go downstairs. We're going to do the basement and then get out of here. So they actually had a two-car garage, two bays here. And not much else down here. It's unfinished, obviously. Cinder block walls. It's not terribly old. Concrete floor. Modern plumbing. Modern electrical. So the house, um, I don't know how to date it. I would probably guess, though, built maybe in the 60s. But I'm guessing this was somebody that lived here and then the company came in, took it over and made it into kind of a commercial space for the sand quarry. There's some pipes. These are like ceramic pipes. All right, let's go out this way. Yeah, that's the uh, cap ribbon. Oh, is that what it is? I didn't see that last time. 
And right there, unfortunately, is the remains of a cat. Nearly fully intact, the tail still has fur on it too. It's actually pretty crazy because... So here's a shot looking back. Decently sized front porch. It's right over on top of the garage. Again, I can imagine it being a decent home. It's a, you know, a nice small single family home, but just enough to uh, live comfortably in. They must have had something going on here. Oh, look at that, the tree is actually growing right through it. You can see that. That tree is growing right through the grating on that. I don't know how that's possible, but that is crazy. Wow. They just say, Mother Nature finds a way. I've seen stuff like that before, but not through metal grating like that. Yeah. Even right here is another one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Well, yeah, there's a bunch of them. Doesn't matter what's in the way, it's gonna grow. All right, a little bit out of breath, so just don't mind me, please. Made it back to where we shot the potatoes to start the video. RJ had to leave after we shot the crane. He got a call they had to get back home, so he did have to leave early. Alan and I obviously did continue on filming the truck, and we were able to film the house despite those vehicles driving by. It seems like they were just passing through. House definitely went down for downhill. Uh, a lot of things toppled over, holes punched in walls, glass broken. That is pretty common. It's very unheard of that abandoned places stay untouched or don't get in worse condition. I much prefer natural decay, but people do discover these locations and for one reason or another find it amusing to degrade, desecrate, destroy the property. It's unfortunate, but at least through our videos, it is documented and preserved. You can see how it kind of progresses through time. We will be returning once again, though, in the summertime. I do know a few people that want to come here and see this place for themselves. And at that point, we'll do a more comprehensive tour of this place showing you the entire property again as compared to our first and second time here today but if you guys have any questions anything you saw today please leave your comments down below i do love your feedback if you have any information you can share regarding the Bucyrus crane uh the truck the pumper truck the fuel truck or anything else that you saw today and obviously your feedback too on the potato gun if you thought that was a good time give the video a thumbs up it was pretty fun to shoot it here great location nothing to disturb and whatever potatoes we didn't fire off, we left a pile of them there for animals to eat. And we're bringing our trash out of here, obviously. But with that said, make sure you check the links down below for Alan and RJ's videos. And don't forget my merchandise shop, too, where you can get merchandise just like this here. Oh, if you find a toy, it's officially abandoned. We didn't find any toys, but we did find Christmas items. So that's close enough. But anyways, hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.